Did I just get you guys interested? Well, when I first shot the Family Guy Kid Robot figurines, of course, if you watch the first video, I got myself a Joe Swanson. wasn't bad. As it progressed, I got two more. I'll bring those into the camera right now. I got myself the damaged, blackened Peter Griffin. And I thought, well, it couldn't get any better than that. And then I got this guy right here, the evil monkey. Now, I thought that was the end of my journey. I thought that was the last I was going to see these Family Guy Kid Robot figurine collectibles. And it just so happened I stumbled across a, a case. I don't mean I was walking along the street. I tripped over something. I looked back and said, what the? And then there was this box of FGKR Family Guy uh, figurines. But I was able to get myself a remarkable deal on a case of these guys. So I thought, well, why not? I mean, I've shot the review again, and you know what? Every good thing comes in a trilogy. Uh, you have your Star Wars trilogy. You have your Blade Trinity. Your trilogy of Blade movies. And, uh, well, you've got your uh, Meet the Parents. I mean, you know, it's a bad example. But, you know, every single time, it's gotten progressively better and better. So I thought, you know what? Let's review the case a family guy and you know what this is gonna be a very long video but I'm gonna invite you guys here I hope everybody has their invitation here you go everybody's got it I'm inviting you guys all into this party we are gonna have this festival party where we're gonna open up this case and we're gonna look at all 16 characters 16 yes there are 16 boxes inside this case it's a very large case which FGKR will you get and then of, of some of the figures on the side, we've got Peter Griffin, Meg, Chris, Lois, we've got Stewie, Brian, the Evil Monkey, we've got Quagmire, Cleveland, Joe, Herb, Death. I still don't remember his name. <laughs> and, that, and now we know that this is Peter and the Chicken. And on the other side here, we've got Lois, FGKR. On the back... FGKR Family Guy Times Kid Robot Collectible Art. You can go to www.kidrobot.com for ages 16 or 15 and up. Not sure why, but there you go. Now I'm going to take myself a bit of a break here. I'm going to get this wrapper off and we're going to start the first half of this review. Excited? I am! Let's totally do this. Stay away. Stay there, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so the wrapper's off. Got the wrapper all off. When you take the lid, ah, my cat's in the background. I'm telling you guys, every time I want to shoot a review, these guys want to get going and fighting and playing around. Hey, I'm shooting a review. They don't care. They really don't care. They're gonna do this. They're gonna do this the entire time. Anyways, when you get the the uh, box, the case of Family Guy Kid Robots, when you get the wrapper off, you actually just take the lid, you fold it up, and you got yourself, first of all, a very fantastic displayer. Now this would be what you would normally find in your comic book stores, your collectible stores and stuff like that. Um, one other thing that the Family Guy Kid Robot comes with is a poster. A small poster, yes, but a poster in general. And uh, the figures that make this up are 15. So you get 15 possible figures out of a case of 16. What are the chances I'm going to get an entire set? Oh, hopefully good. <laughs> hopefully good. Um, now, I'm throwing this out here before I, I shoot this review. Normally, or before I get these opened up. Normally, I, I seem to have good luck with these. So, really, the ones that I would definitely want to get, if I could get any, I definitely would want to get a Chicken, a Peter, a Stewie, a Brian. Herb would be nice as well. Once I have those, once I have those figures... I am pleased as punch. It doesn't really matter what else I get. Maybe I'll get several Lois's. I don't know. Maybe I'll get like 10 Megs. That would totally suck if I did. Definitely don't need an evil monkey anymore, I can tell you that. But that is the... You get yourself a poster with it. Let's put that aside. And uh, we're going to do this. We're going to actually go through each each case, each box that's inside this case. So hopefully you guys have your sandwiches, your food, everything else ready because we're going to be in this for the long haul, my friend. The long haul. This is such a big event that I'm actually bringing in a, a good friend of mine 
Old Red. There she is. Old Red. Now, I don't know. She, she got herself a bit of a makeover, as you can see there. Brand new blade. Um, I don't know. This might be too big of a task for her. Seeing as she's just come out of retirement and all. Let's see if we can do this, though. Let's grab ourselves the first case, the first box. And I'm not going to say too much about the box because I've really done this already. But the box on the front is a black and white image. We've got the yellow and black. I think that kind of is cool. Of course, Peter in the front, as it should be. The character on the side. Like so. All right. Let's get this opened up. Red, help me out on this one. Let me get the seal cut here. Get this opened up. And we're going to put that aside. I'm sure Rosalita will help. Rosalita likes Kid Robot as well. I don't know if you know that. She loves it. Got these standard foil packaging. I'll mention this probably only once in this entire review. The foil packaging of Kid Robot. You have no idea what's inside. It's a blind bag. But uh, let's get this opened up. Now there's a little notch on the side. I, <laughs> I say not this time notch. I'm totally using a knife for this. And it would be ideal if we could start this review out with a big bang. And look what we got. The first one, by the way, they also come with these little coaster stickers. As you can see, these stickers can peel off. We've got ourselves, unless they've mispackaged this, we've got ourselves Cleveland. Let's pull them out. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on a second there. Maybe there's a little paint tool in here. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. <laughs> Anyone else see what's wrong with this picture? Let's get the accessory out, shall we? The accessory that Cleveland comes with is a little, little pint of beer. Oh, oops, so much so I just dropped it on the floor. I just dropped it on the floor. Hold on a second. Not a good way to start a review spot. You're dropping stuff all over the place. But he comes with a little pitcher, little glass of beer. A little foam, little froth on the top. All right, so what seems a little off to me? Hmm. Oh, he's got the yellow shirt. Let's reference. Let's compare, shall we? Yeah, yellow shirt. Okay. Yeah, blue pants. Yeah, brown shoes. Uh, something seems a little off. Oh, right. They didn't paint his mustache in. Ugh, oh, not a good way to start a review, let me tell you. When the very first figure you pull out hasn't been finished yet. <sighs> All right, well, let's put him up there for a second as a reminder. You know what, let's put the beer in his hand too. Definitely not a good way to start a review, let me tell you. And his arm just popped off. I can't even get the beer on his in his hand. You know what? We'll just keep the beer on the side. There we go. Just put it on the side. <sighs> Alright, let's try case number two. Box number two. While I'm opening these, you guys can let me don't know down below. Have you collected these? And if so, which ones were you able to find? Did you find an unpainted Cleveland? I don't know. Perhaps you got yourself a Joe Swanson that had legs, that had that he could actually stand up. Maybe that was the the ultimate. Oh, hey, here we go. Cool. This is the way. It, this is how I like to do it. Got ourselves Stewie. Now, something I didn't do because I, I forgot with the fact that he wasn't finished. But one thing with the kid robot is that they have a swivel in the head and swivel in the arms. We got ourselves Stewie. Very nice. That's, oh, <laughs> he's top heavy. That's the way I like it. Anything else in here? Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we got his bear. Get this opened up. Got his little bear. Very cool. That I like. That makes that more than makes up for the fact that I got the really lame, unpainted Cleveland. There's this card, by the way, if anyone was interested. Okay, put that aside. I think I'm gonna have quite a mess by the time I'm finished. 
Got ourselves box number three. Box number three. Doing a great job so far, Red. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Good to have you back. I think we all missed you. Certainly for all the hate comments I've gotten down below for the other knife. The other knife will still be present. Red's still going to be here. Maybe they'll take turns. I don't know. Hmm. I can't tell what that is. I can't tell. Let's open this up, though, and find out. Now, without looking, I'm going to see if I can reach in. Feel what it is. You know, it feels like another Stewie. Feels like another Stewie. Oh, hey, we got two Stewies. Two Stewies. One could be an evil Stewie. <laughs> He's already evil. Of course, he comes with his other bear. Same bear as the other one. All right. You know what? Let's put these down for a second. Because I'm sure I'm going to start making messes where I'm going to be knocking these figures over. Let's try box number three. Box number three. I'm telling you, it's going to be a long review. Hmm. Feels like it could be a Joe Swanson. Let's get this opened up. Cut the foil on the top. No, no, it's totally not. Totally not. Love it. Love it! Got ourselves Brian. If anyone's keeping tabs, I think that's what, two? That's two of the ones I've been looking for? Brian. Put him right there. Unfortunately, my light, sometimes, I don't know, my light sometimes is really, really bright. It does come with a martini, though. A little martini glass with an olive. By the way, I'm just going to throw this out here as well. Red, your knife, so sharp. I love it. This is a little martini glass. Let's put the martini glass in his hand, shall we? There we go. Oh, Brian, you drunk. This is a little card, Brian. Really a shame about that Cleveland. I'm hoping I get another one. Al Peta, that's so nasty. It's my horrible impression of Cleveland. All right, what are we looking at? We're looking at case box five. Box five. Who's still with me? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, we got another Griffin. This time we got ourselves Meg. Uh, who's, a, who's a little more uh, developed, I want to say, at the in the top half there. That seemed right. I don't know. There's her card. Not looking too thrilled, I got to say. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Peter farted on her. Who knows? She comes with all oh, her diary. Poor... Meg in her diary. Whole family reads her diary. What? Horrible parents. We enjoyed it though, but I'm gonna give her put her little diary in her hand. Dear diary, why does my family hate me so much? Put her down there. Alright, what are we looking at here? We're now looking at box six. Box six. Zoom out a little bit here. And uh, maybe we're just going to start throwing boxes on the floor. That's, yeah, why, why not, eh? Why not? We don't need to be neat. I have to look at this one. Hmm. Oh! We got ourselves another Brian. I don't know. My chances of uh, getting the entire set starting to be slim to none. Slim to none. And let's open up another box. I guess you could kind of consider this to be an unboxing video. Hmm. I can't even tell. I want to say that's maybe Joe Swanson. I keep thinking everyone is Joe Swanson. Having now suffered some sort of disappointment with the fact that my Cleveland is mispainted. I hope at least I can vindicate it, hopefully uh, redeem it by getting a painted Cleveland somewhere in this set. That would be nice. Oh, cool. Nice, nice. Got ourselves a very chesty 
Whoa, Lois! Got ourselves a very chesty Lois Griffin. My, my, my. Oh, she comes with a little, oh, she comes with her little, uh, vote Lois Griffin. 911. If you've seen the video, you know. If you've seen the episode, you know what I'm talking about. Let's get that sign in her hand, shall we? There we go. Boy, I gotta say, she is really chesty, though. I don't know, that doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right to me. Her head's very loose, too. Got herself Lois Griffin. There's a card, by the way, as well. Her card. Oh, I'm hoping at least I get a Peter. Peter would be nice. I know that we already got the battle damage Peter, but a regular Peter Griffin would be very nice. My options are dwindling and dwindling with each box. By the way, we got ourselves yet another box. You've just tuned in. Spots just opening up boxes galore. Throwing them all over the floor. I'm totally running out of space, too. I didn't realize how much space I was going to need for these. I should have had a garbage pail right next to me. And uh, what do we got here? <laughs> all right. Got ourselves Quagmire. That's good. That's very nice. I'm sure. But, oh, what, what does he have? All right. He's got his necklace. Quagmire with a Q. Get that open up. I don't know how. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I don't know how I'm going to get his head head off, but it seems a simple pop and the Q-Man's back in action. Hey, all right. Quagmire. Of course, let's not also forget his card. There he is right there, Quagmire. Oof, I'm going to really have to pay Rosalie a little extra for the mess I'm making today. Oh, boy. She's not going to like that. No doubt she's going to be screaming at obscenities at me in her own language. Another box to the floor. Come on, Peter. Peter would be nice. Peter would be nice. No, but we are filling... <laughs> hey, look how happy he is. We are definitely filling out the, the Griffin family. There's Lois, Peter, or Brian. Stewie. Little misproportionate, but his head is extremely heavy. I called him Brian. We all know that's Chris. Come on, Spot. And we got ourselves Brian. There's there's Brian right there. Got ourselves quite the family so far. He's just missing the father. Hopefully we're gonna get him. That would really be sad. That would really be sad if that was the case and we didn't get him. We got the cup and ball. And there's his card. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Opening up. What are we down to? Anybody keeping tabs? This is the seventh. We got seven more to go. This is the seventh box that's left. Get this opened up. Who's still with me? Nobody. Nobody. Everybody Everybody has gone to bed. I can't even open this one. Everybody else has gone to bed. There's one or two stragglers, but they're falling asleep. They're going like this, trying to hold their hands up watching the, uh, the video. But they're dozing off. I can tell they're dozing off. Oh, I knew I knew I was gonna get him. I knew I was gonna get him sooner or later. I'm afraid you're gonna have to come with me, Peter. There's the Joe Swanson. Joe Swanson with his wheelchair. I didn't bring him actually into this video. I don't know where I put him. I think I packed him away somewhere. It worked itself out though that we got yet another Joe Swanson. Let's hope that's the last Joe Swanson. I really think I really think he's the one of the least interesting characters in this set. I don't know, he just seems all right. Just all right. 
Let's get this opened up here. I can tell you one thing. Spot's going to totally have blisters all over his fingers by the time this video is finished. You can tell by how sloppy he's opening these boxes now. Let's see, where are we at anyways? Well, we've managed to get in this entire side, except for this guy. And, well, <laughs> well this guy as well. well. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. And that one feels a little flat. Almost too flat, if you ask me, for a Peter. Let's open this up. Oh, we did the... Oh, look, we did... Look what we got, though. Another evil monkey? That's cool. I mean, granted, we already have an evil monkey, but that's still pretty cool, let me tell you. There's his card. Evil monkey. And he comes with a hat and a tie and his little tail. Alright, this is five. Five left. This is the number five right here. That cat's coming over to inspect the mess all over the floor. I know. I've totally made a mess all over my floor. All over our floor. Totally unacceptable, I know. Oh, and we got ourselves another Meg. Or another Lois. Another Lois. And box number four. Where are we at now? Actually, you know what? All things considered, maybe it's because I haven't rambled as much in this video, but all things considered, this video isn't very long. I was expecting it was going to be about five hours long. Could you imagine? Five hours? Oh, this one's, hef this one's heavy. It's hefty. It's large. Oh, come on, Peter. Come on, Peter. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Nice. And uh, you know what? I uh, I might as well sh shut this review now down. I, d I don't even need to shoot anymore. I got the one I need to get. Let's put these glasses on them. <laughs> oh, and just for comparison, there's the battle damage, Peter. I really like the fact that I got an original. Yes! At least the Griffins are complete. The Griffins are complete! Now, sir, oh, and he also comes with uh, a little pitcher of... A little glass... I keep saying pitcher. A little glass of beer. Exactly like Cleveland. Don't forget the card spot. There's the card of Peter Griffin. <laughs> On the floor, the garbage goes. Three left, guys. Three left. Now everybody think, everybody think really hard. Everybody think, chicken, chicken, chicken. Everybody, who's not? Come on, ch you too. Chicken, chicken. Okay, let's open this up. Wouldn't it be funny if this actually was the chicken? You know what that is? That's the power of suggestion. Power of suggestion. You're throwing something out to the universe, the universe responds. Well, didn't quite respond in my favor. Got ourselves another Peter. <laughs> it would almost be funny now if I got nothing but Peters. If I got nothing but Peters. Let's put him down. We got two boxes left. My chances are dwindling. Herb, Herbert the Pervert, that is your name, sir. I don't know, maybe I won't, might not even get you either. The pirate I could really do without. Death would be nice. Herb would be nice, Herbert. And uh, I'm just looking down here. I guess that's really it. A Cleveland would be nice too. Certainly, again, because the other one didn't have a painted mustache. Oh, but look what we got though. Ah, my mother was a tree. And he's got himself a scroll. 
nautical puns. Let's see what else we got. There's cards in there too. I'm sure of it. There it is. I can't remember his name. I think his name's Seamus. That's probably not right. Somebody will tell me down below. One thing that you guys are always good for is telling me down below what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is it, guys. The last box. We've come a long way. It's now almost 23 minutes in. We've come a long way. Mm. Gotten all the ones I wanted. Except for... Mm, except for really the chicken. The chicken would have been nice. Herbert would also be nice. And Death. Those are my three that I really would love to get. The last time I shot this review, the second time that I shot these kid robots, I was holding out for an evil monkey. And remember what happened? Totally got evil monkey. This is the last box I'm opening up. I'm still waiting for a chicken. Perhaps. Perhaps. Let's open this up. You guys all at the edge of your seats? I know I'm sure a couple of you have fallen out of your seats. No. No. Maybe? No. No, it's not the chicken, but it's just as good. It's death. Totally got death. Get all this stuff out. That's it. Comes with this scythe. It's death after all. He should come with a scythe. His arm popped off. That's alright, I'll get the scythe in and then I'll put his arm back in. And his head part popped off. Jeez, it's remarkable for somebody named Death. He's sure falling apart. There's Death looking very cool. Very cool with his scythe. There's his card. Alright, so let's review, shall we, the ones that we got. We got ourselves Death. We got ourselves. Meg. Got ourselves Cleveland. I'm going to have to go through my pile of garbage here. We managed to get one Peter, followed by another Peter afterwards. We got another Joe Swanson. He doesn't even get a wheelchair. I'm just going to put him aside there. We got a couple of Stewies. We got ourselves a Chris. One Chris, I might add. Entire box. We only got one Chris. Got ourselves a tailless evil monkey. Right there. Got ourselves a Brian. A Lois. I'm excluding the doubles here. Is it Peg Leg Seamus? Whatever. Got him as well. And uh, I think that's it. I think all, oh, oh yes, yes, let's not also forget old unpainted mustache Cleveland, Alpena, that's so nasty, and uh, that looks like it, that looks like that's all we've got, of course we got doubles as well, but I gotta say a pretty good set, adding of course the fact that I got the battle damage Peter from before, and uh, we seem to have gotten all of them except for the chicken and Herbert and a, a mustached Cleveland. So a pretty good haul. Pretty good indeed. I think one of my favorites is this guy right here. He looks really, really cool. And you know what? I really like the, I really like the Brian. But overall, a pretty good set, guys. Today's collectible spot, a very long one, I know, sorry for time, but today's collectible spot, we were looking at the Family Guy Kid Robots. This is the third video I shot for this, this collectible, but this time, we're having a look at the entire case. I thank you guys for sticking around. Let me know down below if you guys have collected these and which ones you guys have, and uh, I guess I'll wrap this video up here. Thank you again to Old Red. Good to have you back, my friend. You did some good work in this video. And uh, I'm going to wrap this up here, guys.
be sure to stick, stay around and watch and continue to watch videos happening on this channel. And uh, I will see you guys next time.